Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you live from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and a purposeful coach and speaker <laughs> in the world. I hope you guys are excited for another wonderful opportunity to make a decision today about how your day is going to go. You know how some people greet people? They say, hey, how you doing? How you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? I greet people a little bit differently. I don't say, how are you doing today? I say, how are you going to do today? And they say, what? I say, how are you going to do today? Like, are you going to have a great day or are you not going to have a great day? It's up to you. Anyway, that's a bonus for this morning's conversation. This morning's conversation is going to be to shine a light on something that should give you peace or something that should cause you maybe a little bit of discomfort to help you want to become more than you currently are. And it's this. The good news is that God knows your heart. The bad news is that God knows your heart. What do I mean by that? You're saying the same thing, Steve, yet differently. Well, when I say the good news is that God knows your heart, I'm wanting to comfort those who may feel misunderstood, who do not feel accepted, who may even be struggling not only with what others think about you, but the challenges you have with yourself in a pursuit to be the very best version of yourself you can be. You could be discouraged because you are attempting to do something again and again and again to improve your life, and yet you seem to come up short and fall short and struggle. I have good news for you. God knows your heart. There's an incredible amount of grace, which is unmerited, unearned favor kind of like a mom and daddy. If you're a mom or a dad, you have an incredible amount of grace for your kids who put in the effort. You are not standing over them, pointing your finger, ready to condemn them or shoot them with a lightning bolt because they messed up for the 50th time. Think of it this way. If any of you have had children, do you remember when they were little bitty babies and those little bitty babies were learning to walk? How many times did they attempt to walk before they got it right? Would you guess? 80? 100? I don't know. Did it take days and days and days before there was actually a change? Here's my point. At no time in their effort to rise and walk and fall, at no time did any parent ever on the face of the earth say, Well, Martha, looks like little Johnny just ain't going to get it. I guess just walking just ain't for little Johnny. Little Johnny? Just lay there on the floor, buddy. You suck at walking. Just lay there. At no point did a parent discourage their kid, no matter how many times they fell, if they got up again. At no point did the parent say, I guess walking is just not for you. And my friends, this is the amazing thing about the good Lord, is that when your motive is right and pure to do the right thing, you can fall a thousand times, and if you get back up again and try again and try again and try again and continue to practice, there is grace for that. Take heart. Be at peace. The good news is God knows your heart. The bad news is God knows your heart. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about posers. I'm talking about fakers. I'm talking about charlatans. I'm talking about wolves in sheep's clothing who are out to give an appearance of something that they are not. And you may fool some people. You ain't fooling the good Lord. Let me give it to you this way in case you have a problem with the good Lord. Call it karma. Call it what goes around comes around. Call it reaping and sowing. Calling it something other than it. Call it as the universe is just giving back what I'm putting out. Call it whatever you want to call it. It's a principle like gravity. Well, I don't believe in gravity. No worries, dog. Jump off that building. Let's see what happens. Let's see what you... A, a principle, a law is in place and it's either working for you or against you. So when I say the bad news is God knows your heart, mm, what I mean by that, and use your karma word if you want to, use your universe word if you want to, what goes around comes around. You may fool some people, but you're going to be found out and be exposed. It will happen. That's the beauty of principles working for you or against you. So what is the good news? The good news is if you're doing your best, you're trying your best, and you're working towards becoming all you were created to become, there is grace a thousand times over, no matter how many times you fall, if you get back up and continue to pursue. And just don't quit. Just don't give up. There's good news. God knows your heart. 
He's got your back. And the bad news is, God knows your heart. Check your motives. Check yourself, as the rapper says, before you wreck yourself and examine yourself. Because what is truly going on in your heart eventually will show up. What goes on in private eventually will show up in public. Therefore, if you're doing your best and you're struggling and falling, it is so cool and it's okay. That's how life works. It just works that way. It's like a baby learning how to walk. You don't discourage them. You don't tell them, lay down there, buddy. You just fell down like 58 times. Walking ain't for you, pal. Just lay there on the ground. You just, I guess, walking ain't for you. No, never. The parents are always encouraging. Come on, little Johnny. Let's, boy, you got it. Hop up, baby. Let's do it again. Brush yourself off. Let's go. Let's go. You have a papa in heaven who is rooting for you. How does he feel about you? I'll tell you. If he had a desk, he would have a picture with you on it. The good news is, he knows your heart. The bad news is, he knows your heart. Check yourself before you wreck yourself or be encouraged today and get up and give it another shot. Have a great day, guys.